What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's good, everybody? Ron Carter here. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast. And today, it's Realization Wednesday. So we're getting straight into it with some deep realizations, some stuff that I realized over the last week. This is what I like to do every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, um, I release my realizations that I've had throughout the week. So what I do throughout the week is every time that I have an aha moment or something really important that I learned or basically something that makes me go like, no way in my mind, you know, anything that pops up and makes me think or feel that, I pull out my phone and I record a voice memo inside of Anchor. Um, Like at that moment, right? The moment that I realize it and I record it and I compile them and release them every Wednesday as an episode. So, welcome to Realization Wednesday, and uh, today we're going to start it off by talking about how Russell Brunson is selling this lead funnels thing. I don't know if you heard of lead funnels. It's a new product that Russell Brunson is selling. It's basically a giant swipe file. It's a whole compilation of emails and headlines and copywriting, things that he's written to make millions of dollars over the last however many years that he's been internet marketing, right? The last 10 years, 16 years, something like that. And he's selling it for $7, but anybody who sells it for him, like let's say that I sell it as an affiliate, right? I send somebody the link to it and they buy, I get paid $10, but the person who bought only paid seven. So so Russell Brunson is losing $3 on every sale or so it seems. And so that's where we start the realization, right? I'm not going to give you too much info because we're going to dive right into it as soon as we play the introduction. Let's get it. What's up, everyone? I'm Ron Carter, and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we are future billionaires. What's good, everybody? Um, So first realization, right? This is Realization Wednesday. You guys know from the intro already. Um, So funny. I I was just, you know, Russell Brunson recently released this thing called Lead Funnels. And basically, we we were talking about, like, not every funnel has to sell stuff, right? Not every funnel has to... um, uh, like lead to a shopping cart and all these upsells and all this stuff. You could just use a funnel to create leads or to get people into other stuff and onto your list and very simple funnels. And, and he has this huge swipe file of all the funnels that he's used over the years to make, you know, billions of dollars in his business and actually do this. And it's funny that he has this for sale now for just seven bucks, right? Um, if you promote it, you actually get $10 for sale. So they actually lose money on people 
uh, buying this thing. And I was like, you know what? I need to get this thing just so I can see what he is really selling on the other side. Because, uh, you know, selling it for $7, earning $7 and automatically giving $10 away to anybody who sells it, you are not making any money. You're actually losing money every time you get a sale. You're losing $3 every time you get a sale just to pay that affiliate, right? So um, how is he running ads to this? Because I just clicked an ad on Facebook for this. And I thought, I'm gonna have to, I thought, wow, he just paid for me to click this too. Because that's how Facebook ads work. Every time you click on an ad and you click the link, that person who ran that ad just paid something, whether it's you know a dollar, a dollar fifty, you know, the lower the number, the better for them, obviously, but that depends on their ad campaign. So I realize this when I'm going through Facebook ads. And when I see something that intrigues me, I purposefully click it. I want to see where this goes, and especially when I see it over and over again, because I know that it's having success, right? And a new ad for this popped up. One that people had, it only had one like on it. It just had recently been published. And I realized like, well, he's running more ads to this because the old ones are working. So he's like reach tripling down on this. So I said, let me see what, what's going on. I watched the video and I was like, okay, yeah, lead funnels. At first I didn't get it because I didn't buy the product because I already, am, I've been building those for like the last six months. And I'm like, I know how to copyright and it's about knowing your audience. And there might be some stuff in there that I could use real quick that will really boost my stuff. But, you know, having that core background is what really makes your stuff successful, right? If, you're, if your stuff isn't successful yet, a swipe file isn't gonna change that. Not when we're talking about permanent success, right? All that stuff is additional add-ons to skills you already have. So I was like, I'm focusing and developing on my skills right now. I don't need to buy that. But when I saw that it's working, I said, let me buy it just so I can see what's happening. And this is just a few minutes ago. And I thought, you know, I can spare seven bucks right now. And honestly, stuff's kind of tight because I'm gonna be moving home. So. I literally was serious, asking if I can spare myself the seven bucks, right? And I thought, okay, I definitely can. Um, I just got a payment in from building a funnel, so I'm like, okay, I could, uh, I could spare the seven dollars. And I, I go to buy it, right? And as soon as I buy it, I click the button, I put my info in. Before I even get to put my credit card info in, it says, hey, would you like a uh, well, what they call it, and it's an order form bump. And what that is, is before you even purchase, they upsell you something, but they do it very slickly. They say, hey, would you like, um, not only do you want these swipe files, but I can also give you uh, pretty much like video lessons. That's what, what he called it. It's like video lessons where I go over each one of these funnels and exactly how they work and, uh, and, and show that to you. Um, and you can get that. Uh, just by clicking here um, and paying an extra $37 to your order. So right there, I'm sure that that's where he made it profitable for the affiliates, right? Because maybe only 10, 20% of the people uh, click that, you know, the higher the number, the better. But they just turned a $7 offer into, um, 37, into a $44 uh, offer, right? You know, like even if 20% of the people, let's do the math. Let's say 10 people buy, uh, let's say 10 people buy that, right? So 10 people buy the lead funnel thing. So that's $70 coming Russell Brunson's way, right? Um, he's got $70 in his pocket and then you have to uh, minus out the affiliates, right? So let's say he's got $70 in his pocket but he has to pay off the 10 people who preferred those other people, right? He's one of those sales he has to give somebody $10 for. So now he's really negative $30, right? After selling that, he's negative $30. But let's say 20% of the people who bought, which is two people, you know, 20% of 10, two of those people who bought took that other offer to only two of the people. They said, you know what? Um, I want those videos to make sure that I implement this stuff right. So the two people pay 37 bucks. And what that means is that's 74 extra dollars. So now he just, because he implemented that offer, because he implemented that little paragraph that says, that said, hey, do you want to get this as well? And 20% of the people are taking it. He went from being in the whole $30 to being 
profitable $47, right? He, he basically got 74 more bucks, right? So you negative 30 plus 74 is 44 bucks. Um, so that's just the main offer, right? And, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's cool. And I purchased, I didn't get the extra stuff. Um, but then here's the kicker on the thank you page. It said, hey, thanks for purchasing. It promoted the one funnel away challenge. It said, hey, you know, join this challenge and learn how to basically put your whole funnel together because you, you use a swipe file, right? To put together stuff for your funnel, to put together your emails, to put together your headline. That's what you use this lead funnels product for. So he said, hey, you can join the one funnel away challenge and, and and he he mentioned the whole offer for that, right? Everything that comes along with it for a hundred dollars, and then it's like twenty dollars shipping and handling because you get the whole package, right? And I said no. I said I don't want to do that, um, even though I do plan on joining that so I can go through everything and you know, really go through it because I'm promoting it. I believe in it, but I haven't even gone through it yet, right? And um, I know that once I do go through it, I'm going to be able to promote it a lot harder and, and be able to like get really specific with stories about it and why people should get it. I'll probably sell a lot more. Um, so I do want to go through it, but I thought, you know, I can't really afford the hundred bucks right now. I didn't, it really, it's the time, right? Uh, the time for the challenge. I can't afford it right now because of my situation with my parents and moving soon and figuring all that out. So. I, uh, I said no, right? And this is on the upsell page. It gave me an offer. It said, say yes or no. And I said no. Sorry for the noise. I'll wait until I'm done recording this before I start eating. Spare you guys that. <laughs> um, so, I said no to this offer. The very next page that popped up, it said, join the One Funnel Away Challenge at a massive discount. And it said, get the digital version only. No extra mail, nothing in the mail, none of these packages, just what you need to complete the challenge for only $47. I saw that and I was like, whoa, I've never seen that before. I literally like jumped to it. I put my credit card info in, I tried to buy, and like I said, like stuff is tight right now. I just got a payment from a funnel that I built, but that wasn't on my in my bank account, right? It was in a, my PayPal. And so I tried to pay for this with my bank account, and it got declined. And then I said, okay. I, I caught myself when I was trying to, I was about to transfer money from my PayPal to my bank account and then buy it again. And that's when I realized, this is not what you're on here to do. And that's when it hit me. This is where they're making all their money out of this whole lead funnels thing. Even if people don't buy the $37 version, them having that thing up where people are getting extra videos, that's making them profitable with the offer anyways. Excuse me. But then adding in the one funnel away challenge saying, do you want to sign up for this? And then when people say no, offering them to be able to get in at 40 40 dollars that is what people are signing up for and it doesn't cost them anything extra to get people to sign up for that the coaching everything is automated right so the realization here is the real money in your funnel when you're putting upsells together for your funnel for a product that you're selling, instead of focusing on selling something, like just adding things to the sequence because you can. It's like, oh, I sold this bracelet, now I'm gonna sell them these shoelaces and this other stuff. Just because you have it available, don't sell like that. Actually sell the next thing that they logically need, right? Think of them like, you know that they're going through a process and you're gonna know exactly what that process is if you have a relationship with them, right? If you've been talking to them back and forth before they even went into your funnel, right? 
you're gonna know exactly what they're consuming your information for or the thing that you're selling that you're gonna know what they're doing with it why they're doing it what their hopes and dreams and goals are and you're gonna be able to offer that to them after they buy at a reduced fee or at a price that they can't get from anywhere else as maybe a service that you might charge 10 times for uh, later on and you announce that you say this is even available right now but I'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you guys for this price and just know that when it is available in two months it's going to cost 10 times this amount stuff like that right when you put that uh, in the end of a funnel after somebody has already committed after they've already bought something at a cheaper price they've already put their credit card info in and then you give them you put something like that in front of them they almost look at it like a no-brainer they have to buy and that's what I did today and my bank account stopped me right it was like no you don't have the money and I was like and I was about to mindlessly just add the money to it and then keep going and buy it right and that little pause is what stopped me because I realized this is not what I came on here for I came on here to see how this works now I do see how it works and I understand in depthly that it's working because it almost got me and I'm not even on here to buy I'm on here to research and uh, so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope I hope that provides you some insight and some value on to the next realization What's up guys? Okay, so this is realization number two coming up. And uh, you just heard uh, me basically realize how Russell Brunson is selling something for $7, but giving $10 away to anybody who sells it. And using a, doing, doing that with a sticky cookie system, which basically means, it, like if you already have ClickFunnels or if you've ever bought anything uh, you know, from that company, somebody is probably getting an affiliate commission you know if you've bought multiple things you've probably ended up buying something through somebody's link whether you did it on purpose or not so a lot of the stuff that they're selling a lot of these lead funnels they're actually losing three dollars on every sale and so that last realization was all about how they're doing at doing that and this realization coming up right now is it's uh, we're actually going to switch gears a little bit and this is about success success and making money right because a lot of people have those two totally intertwined and, and I couldn't believe I, I do believe that they come together but I don't believe that they're intertwined Here, I'll just uh, I'll just read this to you right um, this is a Facebook post that somebody made in my group this morning I'm gonna read to you my like long extensive comment that I left because I was like wow that's actually pretty valuable I want to share it with you guys so uh, Richard Caldwell, uh, awesome, awesome guy, great guy. Uh, he owns a couple businesses. Um, one of them is like, a, a, man, don't quote me on this. It's like a camera repair shop or maybe a computer repair shop. I can't remember exactly what he's repairing, um, but uh, a repair shop. And then he got in a, into digital marketing when he was trying to learn how to do that for his business. And so now he's also a digital marketer as well. And he's in my group. Um, he's always, uh, always engaging, awesome group member, really glad to have him there. Uh, but he left this post this morning. Richard left this post and he said, uh, good morning, how is everyone today? Uh, two things first of all uh, this is an absolute awesome group I love it that <laughs> you literally said that then he said second uh, I just done a live in my group on success in money he said I'd like to get other people's views on those two subjects let me know below uh, what is your view on success and money so he left it very open-ended right I was able to really just dive in you know and uh, and so I wrote these and I specifically did not look at anybody else's comments first. I, I even people I knew were commenting already and I said, ah, don't look at any of that. Just leave your opinion, then go read their comments. And, um, and so I said, in my opinion, success is about being happy, not how much money I'm making. I'm truly successful already. But that's because I'm striving to achieve something that I love and helping others do the same. When I can go home, fall asleep, and feel good about all my actions throughout the day and do that on repeat, like just do that over and over again, I've found success. It's about being happy for me. 
But when my happiness comes from bringing joy to others, or I said, but my happiness, not when, my happiness comes from bringing joy to others. So I focus on using what I do know to help others solve similar problems that I was stuck with just a short time ago. By me focusing on helping others achieve their dreams, it leaves it really it really leaves me fulfilled, and that's more important than any money. Uh, I'm not demonizing money or saying it's bad or anything like that, but it's merely a tool. You use tools to accomplish other goals. Uh, no one wants a giant tool shed uh, in their backyard just so that they can look at all the cool tools, right? That's not why you get that. They want to fix things with the tools and build stuff. And, and that's how my focus is with this. I focus on giving value and helping others solve their problems with the knowledge that I do have. That alone leaves me fulfilled and therefore successful, at least in my eyes. And that's all that really matters, my opinion on it, right? For me, um, but that's the, uh, but the funny thing is, the more I do that, the more money ends up coming my way. When you focus on giving value and genuinely helping people, the money and the success will come. They are secondary. The value and the problem you are solving and the relationship with the customer or audience member you are serving comes first. So I hope uh, I hope that brought some value to you guys. Uh, that's it for this realization. What's good? What's good? Thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed Realization Wednesday this week. Um, I hope you got tons of value from that. I know it's only a few realizations, but I feel like they're really important. Uh, make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's episode. Uh, we're actually going to be diving into uh, a personal issue. It has to do with pest control. Pest control in my house. Right? When you hear pest control, most people think of cockroaches, maybe rats, or something like that. But this problem that I have is much more elusive and much, much worse. It is your worst nightmare. And, and I go into it, I go into my plan and what I'm doing and how I'm going to war with these critters um, in tomorrow's episode. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, it's definitely a one of a kind episode for this podcast for sure. Um, and if you guys want to check out the lead funnels uh, that I was talking about in this episode earlier, if you want to talk uh, if you want to check out that offer that Russell Brunson made where you can get the uh, basically the swipe files, the emails, the headlines, all the stuff that he's been using to get leads over the last few years, right? Uh, you can grab that by going to ecombillionaires.com slash lead. That's L-E-A-D. So econbillionaires.com slash lead. And you can sign up for lead funnels. It's only seven bucks. It's a $7 one-time fee. And, uh, and then you get access to all the swipe files. It's a huge, it's a huge amount of swipe files. I got it myself and um, I'm going through it and I'm about to be uh, applying some of this info to my funnels and to my emails. And yeah, just increasing my opt-in rates, increasing my sales and just doing it, you know? Um, why not take the shortcuts that are available for us, right? Russell already found out. Russell already did all the testing, has sent all this stuff, all these swipe files, it's all stuff that works. That's why he's using it over and over again. Now I can do all that testing myself with the, with the audience that I've grown, or I could leverage his results, right? Just for $7. And so you can too. Just go to ecombillionaires.com slash lead get your lead funnels today or you this episode i also have that in there um yeah it's the only link in the description i kind of made it very singular for you guys so you don't go to the description you don't know which one it is it's the only one in there check it out i hope you guys are all having a good day tune in for the pest control problem tomorrow hope you're having a good day peace